Have you ever pondered the American dream? Is it a beacon of hope or a glorified illusion? Let's take a moment to untangle this enigma that has for decades been the cornerstone of America's cultural ethos. The American dream. A phrase so powerful and seductive that it has lured millions to its shores. It's not just about a house with a white picket fence or making your first million before you hit 30. No, it's something far more profound. It's the belief in the freedom that allows each individual to pursue their own version of happiness, unfettered by the shackles of birth or social class. This dream, this promise of a better life, was first articulated by the historian James Thrustle Adams in the year 1931. He envisioned a land where life should be better and richer and fuller for everyone, with opportunity for each according to their ability or achievement. A dream so deeply ingrained in the American psyche, it's almost a part of its DNA. But where did this dream originate? Was it born out of the fertile soil of a new world where endless possibilities awaited the brave and the bold? Or was it a construct, a cleverly crafted narrative to attract the ambitious, the hopeful, and the desperate from around the globe? The American dream, in all its glory and complexity, is a mirage that shapeshifts according to the beholder's perspective. For some, it's the embodiment of hope, a testament to the boundless opportunities that America offers. For others, it's an elusive illusion, always just out of reach, no matter how hard they strive. As we set out on this journey, we'll see how this dream has twisted and turned, reflecting the changing tides of society. Has it been a golden ticket to prosperity for all? Or has it been a cruel tease, always promising and seldom delivering? As we delve deeper, we will explore how the legend of this dream has expanded over time and whether it still holds its original allure. But remember, just like any dream, the American dream too is subject to interpretation and its reality may be as diverse as the nation it represents. The American Dream. It wasn't always about cliche white picket fences and picture-perfect families. Imagine this, the 17th century, where suburban bliss was an allure for the first settlers. It was the enticing idea of endless opportunity and freedom. They dreamed of a place where anyone could make it by working hard. The new world was about survival, not prosperity, but the dream preserved, fueling the growth of early colonies. The Industrial Revolution then turned everything around. It wasn't about survival anymore. It was about accumulating wealth. Factories rose, creating jobs and opportunities for wealth, giving birth to the self-made man. The middle class emerged, embodying the dream with steady jobs, homes, and education for their kids. The dream had become a reachable goal. Yet, it wasn't perfect, but the American dream retained its allure, offering hope to those seeking a better life. Throughout the last century, the dream was alive and well. But as we move forward, we'll see how it started to unravel. As we delve into the saga of the American dream, we'll highlight the ups and downs that have shaped it for a better understanding of its significance today. Fast forward to the 20th century, the dream seems to be slipping away. Why is that? Let's take a moment to ponder on the current state of affairs. The American dream, once a beacon of hope, is now shrouded in a cloud of uncertainty. The reasons are manifold, so let's dissect them one by one. Firstly, we have the ever-winding chasm of income equality. It's like a game of Monopoly, where the rich keep getting richer while the middle class and the poor fight for the remaining crumbs. The top 1% of households now hold more wealth than the bottom 50% combined. Now, that's not a dream. That's a nightmare. And it's happening right here, right now. Next in line, we have the student debt crisis. Once upon a time, education was seen as the golden ticket to the American dream. But now, it's more like a ticket to a lifetime of debt. Students are leaving universities with a diploma in one hand and a bill for tens of thousands of dollars in the other. And the worst part, 
there's no guarantee for a job at the end of it all. It's like buying a lottery ticket, but the prize is just an entry-level job. Lastly, we have the housing market crash. The white picket fence dream turned into a nightmare when the housing bubble burst in 2008. Millions lost their homes, and the aftershocks are still felt today. The dream of home ownership is now just that, a dream. And for many, it's out of reach. In the sum, the rising income equality, the student debt crisis, and the housing market crash have dealt a significant blow to the American dream. It's like being promised a delicious apple pie, only to find out it's made of plastic. The dream appears to be fading, but is it really? Well, for now, let's just say, the American dream, as we know it, is going through a bit of a rough patch. Is the American dream dead, or is it simply evolving? Now, that's a question that keeps many philosophers up at night, isn't it? But to answer that question, we need to take a look at the changing perceptions of the American dream, especially among the newer generation who are stepping into the battlefield of life. For the longest time, the American dream was synonymous with material wealth. The house with the white picket fence, the two-car garage, the Sunday barbecues, and the two and a half children. That was ideal. That was the dream. But as Bob Dylan once said, the times, they are a changin'. These days, the younger generation seems to have a different perspective. For them, the American dream isn't about material wealth anymore. It's about experiences. It's about personal fulfillment. They're not just chasing the dollar, they're chasing happiness. And it's not just a philosophical shift, it's a practical one too. With the rise of the gig economy, the idea of a job for life is becoming as outdated as the fax machine. Instead, people are looking for work that gives them a sense of purpose, work that aligns with their personal values. They're not just looking for a paycheck, they're looking for a purpose. And it's not just about jobs either. The younger generation is also redefining success in other areas of life. They're delaying marriage, postponing having children, and prioritizing experiences over possessions. They're not just living the dream, they're redefining it. So, is the American dream dead? Well, that's a matter of perspective. It's certainly not the same dream that our grandparents chased. But does that mean it's dead? Or is it simply evolving, adapting to the changing times, like a chameleon changing its colors to blend in with its surroundings? Whether the American dream is a mirage or a reality, its evolution mirrors the changing face of America itself. The American dream isn't dead. It's just wearing different clothes, that's all. And as the landscape of America continues to shift, the American dream will continue to evolve with it.